Step into a world of extraordinary achievements as we journey alongside a once homeless boy who defied all odds. Brace yourself for an awe-inspiring narrative that will leave you in awe. Today, we unravel the captivating story of Tom Monahan, the mastermind behind the renowned Domino's Pizza. From a humble beginning in an orphanage to facing setbacks in school, his path to success was anything but conventional. But this is no ordinary tale. Prepare to be amazed by how he turned adversity into a billion-dollar fortune, becoming an icon in the realm of pizza and inspiring countless hearts along the way. Join us as we explore the remarkable saga of a visionary who transformed the world slice by slice. In a narrative reminiscent of a Charles Dickens novel, Thomas Stephen Monaghan was born in 1937, Ann Arbor, Michigan, a suburb of Detroit. Tragedy struck at the tender age of four when his father passed away on Christmas Eve. His mother, burdened with the responsibility of nursing school, had no choice but to place him and his younger brother James in an orphanage. The Felician sisters ran the orphanage, but fate eventually reunited them with their mother. Tom's life took a significant turn under the influence of the nuns, and though he contemplated becoming a priest, he faced challenges in maintaining the necessary discipline, leading to his expulsion from the seminary due to incidents like pillow fights and chapel chatter. Determined to forge his path, he returned to public school, embarking on a journey that would eventually define his remarkable destiny. In 1960, Tom's luck seemed to change when his brother James proposed a business venture, buying a failing pizzeria together. Excited, they invested their savings and borrowed more money to acquire Dominic's Pizza in Michigan. However, unforeseen challenges arose as James backed out, leaving Tom to face financial hardship, surviving on burned pizza and stale popcorn. Despite the setbacks, this marked the beginning of an incredible journey that would transform Tom Monahan into a pizza industry titan. Amidst the challenges, Tom Monahan faced a critical question. How could he turn things around and make his business profitable? In 1986, he shared his inspiring journey in the autobiography Pizza Tiger, offering a glimpse into his resilient spirit. Determined not to let setbacks define him, Tom decided to embrace his identity as a pizza man pouring his heart and soul into the venture. Through ingenuity and unwavering personal ethics, he transformed a single store into a global pizza delivery empire, surprising readers with tales of his unconventional tactics to recover stolen payments and thwart thieves. With a meat tenderizing mallet or a pop bottle in hand, he stood as a formidable force against adversity, demonstrating the true essence of perseverance and innovation in the face of challenges. With quick thinking, Tom devised a brilliant strategy offering free delivery for his pizza orders, a concept unheard of at the time. College students embraced the idea and the demand surged, overwhelming Tom with an influx of business. Bolstered by this success, he expanded by acquiring two more stores, yet still faced financial losses. Undeterred, he applied the lessons learned from the college town and opened a third store, catering exclusively to students' pizza cravings. The transformation was complete in 1965 when he rebranded the business as Domino's Pizza and expanded further. In no time, Domino's Pizza rose to international fame, becoming a household name across the globe. Initially, Domino's lacked its famous 30-minute delivery promise. It was only after years of refining the business, from faster pizza-making processes to streamlined product lines, that the idea struck Tom. He innovated a new pizza box that kept the pizza warm and secure during delivery, allowing multiple pizzas to be sent without the cheese sticking to the top. This revolutionary delivery system, coupled with the guarantee of a 30-minute delivery or a free pizza, catapulted Domino's to success. As Tom expanded the network, franchising stores across North America, the promise became possible, ensuring customers could easily find a nearby store for prompt pizza delivery. The 30-minute promise ended in the U.S. in 1993, but remains active in many international stores. Tom's fate intertwined with Domino's when he met his future wife on his first pizza delivery, 14 months after starting the business. They married the following year, and Margie Monahan became an integral part of Domino's for decades. As the business grew, Tom faced challenges, including a devastating fire at the Anchor Store and the pitfalls of unchecked expansion. 
Ultimately, he had to hand over the company to a local businessman, Ken Helena, but regained control within a year. By 1973, Domino's had rebounded, teaching Tom a valuable lesson. He decided to curb rapid expansion and became more selective in store locations. The strategy paid off and by the 1980s, Domino's flourished with 290 stores. Tom's success allowed him to fulfill a lifelong dream, buying his hometown baseball team, the Detroit Tigers, for $35 million in 1983, and they went on to win the World Series the following year. Domino's continued its rapid growth throughout the late 1980s. In 1989, Domino's boasted nearly 5,000 stores in the U.S. and 260 internationally. Surprisingly, Tom resigned as the company's president that year to devote more time to supporting Catholic charities, driven by his deep faith. In 1992, he sold the Detroit Tigers to Mike Illich, and later in 1998, he retired, selling 93% of Domino's to Bain Capital for a staggering $1 billion. With his newfound focus on religion, he founded Ave Maria University with a vision to nurture saints rather than just diplomas. Despite a period of mismanagement, Tom returned to Domino's in 2001, eventually leading it back to success, with digital sales surpassing $1 billion in the U.S. alone by 2011. As of 2023, Domino's operates more than 14,000 pizza restaurants in over 85 countries, and the company delivers an astounding 1.5 million pizzas each day worldwide. Tom, a firm believer in home delivery's effectiveness, returned to the food delivery business in Naples, Florida, after leaving his position as president of Ave Maria University. He founded Zirin Burger, hoping to capitalize on the popularity of hamburgers, but the idea didn't quite take off and had to be shut down when moved to Tennessee. Since retiring, Tom has immersed himself further in the Catholic Church, generously contributing his time and resources to building churches and missions in Honduras and Nicaragua, and even establishing a Catholic law school. In conclusion, Tom Monahan's incredible journey with Domino's Pizza is a true testament to perseverance and innovation. From a single store to a global phenomenon, his success story is one of inspiration. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating stories. Thank you for watching.